Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Windows 10 or Windows 11. You get a completely black screen after you are able to log in or even you are not able to log in. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First method is whenever you are able to log in but still you are getting the black screen, these two or three steps will help you resolve the issue. So I'll go ahead and log in onto my Windows. Now once you are logged in, at this point of time, you need to open the task manager. And to open the task manager, you need to use the shortcut keys because the screen is completely black. So to open task manager, simultaneously press Control Shift and Escape key. You can see in this way, you will be open the task manager. Click on the option More Details and now click on File menu. And here choose the option Run New Task. Now type here Reg Edit and check mark the option Create this task with administrative privilege and hit the OK button. Now here you need to expand HKey Local Machine software now press the m key to find microsoft expand microsoft now press the w key to find windows nt expand windows nt now expand current version also and press the w key to find a file with the name windows logo once you find this particular file win logo in the right pane press the s key to find a file with the name shell double click to open it any value data whatever the value is present delete it and type in explorer.exe. Once you done so, hit the OK button. Now go ahead and restart your PC and check the issue has been fixed out or not. If this failed to work out, again simultaneously press Control Shift and Escape key to open the task manager in your Windows PC. Now again in task manager, file, click on the option run new task and give it a name explorer.exe. Choose the option create task with admin privileges and hit the OK button. This way your file explorer will open automatically and I hope the black screen issue will be fixed out. Now if this also failed, we need to proceed with the advanced screen instructions. So for that I will go ahead and first of all lock my system by pressing the Windows plus L key. Now you can see my system is locked. Now at this point of time you need to have two different options. If you are able to see the login screen, just it is showing right over here, you need to press and hold the shift key, then click on this turn off icon and here you will find the option of restart. Make sure you press and hold the shift key and then click on the option restart and this will directly launch you to the troubleshoot screen. So wait for it to restart into the troubleshoot screen so that you can change the advanced options in your Windows PC. Now if you have done it correctly, you will see a screen exactly like this. Now for those users who are not able to see even the login screen, for those users you need to press and hold the power key to turn off your system. Until your system turn off, make sure you keep holding the power key in your PC. Once your system turn off, again press the power key to turn it on. And once your system turn on and started or spinning circles are started into your screen, again press and hold the power key to turn off your system again. Do this process two to three times and you will see a screen diagnosing your PC or preparing automatic updates and then you will be redirected to the same screen as it is showing right over here. Now at this point of time, you need to choose the option troubleshoot. Now here we have three or four ways to resolve the issue. First one is click on the option reset your PC. Choose only the first option which is keep my files. This will remove the programs that you have installed into your system. However, it will not delete any of your personal files. So choose this option. Now simply choose your login ID and password by selecting your account, enter your password. This will go ahead and reset your PC. After resetting your PC, you will be able to fix out the issue of black screen in Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now from here under the reset this PC, choose the option local reinstall and this will reinstall your system and in turn fix out your issue. Now if this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. In next step again, first of all, reach over the same screen which is the advanced options as I have told you earlier. Now again, go to the troubleshoot screen and then instead of reset your PC, click on the option advanced options. Now here again, you need to do few changes one by one. If the black screen is occurred after the recent update, click on the option uninstall updates and then one by one choose both the updates, uninstall quality update as well as uninstall feature update to resolve the issue. Now even after uninstalling the updates, doesn't work, you need to click on the option system restore. Now in system restore, do the same, select your account, 
enter the password for the system restore at this point of time if any previous system restore is available your system will go ahead and restore your system to a previously stable state and in turn fix out this black screen issue in your windows 10 or your windows 11 however if this also fails again head over to troubleshoot advance this time choose the option command prompt and type in a command dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health enter this command type in this command and then hit the enter key once this command is completed go ahead close it restart your pc and hopefully your issue will be completely fixed and if nothing works the only hope you have is to do a clean installation of your windows 10 or windows 11 by downloading a windows 10 or windows 11 iso file right from the official website of the microsoft if you want a detailed tutorial for that also i will provide you the link in the description of this video so that you can create a bootable usb and reinstall windows in your pc to fix out this black screen issues in your windows 10 or windows 11 so that's all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching